Welcome! Welcome to Plathville. It was on a day or so ago. I'm kind of behind on my TV show stuff, but yes, Welcome to Plathville was on a day or so ago, and Mariah Plathville, the 17-year-old daughter who is now living on her own, has a new kind of tool-ish boyfriend, and guess what his name is, you guys? It is, guess what, Max. Just like my name. And no, my name is not Caleb. A bunch of you guys call me Caleb. That is not my name. My name is Max. And yes, Mariah's new boyfriend from Welcome to Plathville, the tool. Yeah, his name is Max too. I finally got to see what I've been waiting for all season because we have been seeing a little teaser, a little preview with Mariah Plath, the 17 year old daughter who is now living on her own with her brother Micah. And we got to see that she went on this like big first date with this stud and he's got a big motorcycle and he was telling her to hang on to him and all this cheesy, hilarious stuff. And yes, we got to see the date. So. Spoiler, spoiler, spoiler alert. I am like 99% confident that Mariah and her new man, Max, that she went on this date with, that yes, they are still together. So yeah, basically what happened was it was her first date. She was nervous. She was excited. I don't even remember my first date. My first date was... I can only imagine terribly awkward and just, you know, but anyway, she was excited. They went on their first date. They vaguely talked about her past life with her family, which I thought was so stupid because I mean, it's like they're there on a date with a film crew and it's for a show called Welcome to Plathville. They're in a, they're in a miniature town in Georgia. Everyone knows everyone. Obviously, everyone knows that they're filming for this TV show. So it's like, well, he he knows everything that's going on. He's 100% probably watched this show. So she's explaining that her family's kind of protective and they're kind of this and, and you know, but it's like, dude, he knows everything. But anyway, this Max guy acts like he's, you know, cool that he understands it. And he keeps using all these stupid, cheesy little catch lines. Like he was talking about a horse and having it be set free. And it was just honestly, it was hilarious. This guy cannot help himself but just use these stupid little phrases. Like even when they left to go on the date, he was telling her to don't be afraid to hang on to me and all this ridiculous, cheesy crap. But I found it funny. So any Anyway, Mariah went on a date with her man. It was the first time. And if you go on her Instagram, boom, right there, you can see for yourself, there are several pictures of them still together on his motorcycle, of all things. And yeah, I mean, he posted some pictures. I found his Instagram too. He posted some. They were tagged in some pictures together. And then Mariah posted some. So yes, there is a 99.999 basically a 100% chance they are still together. Now on the surface, it looks pretty good, kind of just ridiculously cheesy, but it looks fine. They look good together, they look happy. The only little issue I do have with it, I do have to say, if I am gonna nitpick, is she's only 17, and I believe she is still only 17. This Max guy with this amazingly good name, Max, he um, is, I believe, 19. So I'm kind of, you know, calculating, doing my calculations and the, you know, legality of everything. And isn't that like not legal? I mean, like she's 17, he's 19. I don't live in the state of Georgia, but I can tell you one thing. In Tennessee and in Michigan where and in Florida, where I have lived, all three places, that would not fly. Now, I don't know if maybe... He's really not 19, but he graduated high school in 2019. Okay, well, he would have been 18 in 2019. Now it's 2020, he'd be 19. He could even possibly even be turning 20. So he's definitely over the age of 18. And Mariah, this past season was filmed in 2020. I think it was filmed around like June or so of 2020. And she was saying that she was 17 at that time on their date. So I'm kind of trying to calculate everything. Maybe it's not that big of a deal. I don't think it's like horrible. It's not like he's like, you know, 53 and she's 17. It's he's 19. She's 17. Not that big of a deal, but still it's like, is this really even legal technically? So kind of odd, kind of weird, but they do seem happy and they are clearly, clearly, clearly still together. And I'll go to the next stuff that we saw, but I just have to say it again. When he told Mariah to don't be afraid to hang on to him, I just, oh, I laughed and laughed and laughed. But anyway, now let's go over to Micah because we got some pretty good laughs with him. He had another modeling gig. And I just, I have to use the air quotes because I don't know what kind of modeling he's doing or if it is just like, 
you know, not real because I, it just doesn't seem like it's a real modeling gig. He went to basically a hotel room with his friend Helena, which I also love that name. So he went with his friend Helena and there was a photographer and a lighting person, but they weren't like, you know, taking pictures in any type of clothing or anything like that. It was really kind of just like them standing there together taking pictures. I don't know what it was for, but they claimed it was a modeling gig. And at first it was a little awkward. Micah, he is, he's getting more out of his shell. He's getting more comfortable with himself. And then one thing led to another. All of a sudden, Micah did this, Micah did that. Next thing you know, the guy was like in the shower, um, you know, taking pictures, doing God knows what. So it kind of escalated quickly. And Helena was all gung-ho and she was happy. And she was like there with her cell phone taking pictures and they were having a very good time. I'm a little awkward, but they were having a good time. The only kind of weird thing, and even Helena, she said it because I think the, the producers of the show, the film crew asked her, you know, what do you think of Micah? Are you interested in him? And, and she was saying, you know, we definitely have this chemistry. We have a connection. But the unfortunate thing is for her is it does look like on Micah's Instagram that he met a new woman who I believe lives in Alabama and her name is not Helena. Her name is something else. Now she looks like Helena kind of. So could it be her? I don't really think so. I think it's just a different woman. I, yeah, I don't think it's her. I think he probably just maybe he did date Helena and they broke up. And you met this new woman, I don't know, but it does not look like he is still with her. And the modeling shoot, I don't think it's even a real modeling shoot to be honest, but it went well. He looks incredibly, he looks really good. So it went well. I do think though, if his parents find out, ooh, they probably won't be very happy. And then there was Ethan and Olivia, who I love dearly. Olivia, oh my God, I have a gigantic crush on her. I'll just come out and admit it, I do. I think she is sweet. But after seeing the last episode, I, I'm not, I don't know. I don't have anything against her, but what was going on was she was experiencing a time in the month, you know, for her lady things, so I'm gonna say. And um, yeah, she was kind of going through it. She was tired, she had cramps, she was bloated, she was emotional. I totally get it as much as I can as a man. And yeah, she just wasn't feeling good. And in comes Ethan, her husband, who has like the, you know, I guess IQ level of like a third grader because he was trying to get her to make him breakfast and he was then all of a sudden she was like, I'm not gonna make you breakfast, Ethan, because number one, you're an adult and number two, do it on your own. Number three, I feel like crap. So he ended up making his own breakfast. He was being loud, he was being annoying. I think he comes from a good place, but you could just see she was incredibly annoyed. And surprisingly, it's like, they really, I, I don't think they have issues, but they are kind of going through a rougher-ish of a patch. We have seen Ethan talk about this, how their relationship and their marriage hasn't been going great. I kind of thought it was just scripted for the show, but now I really do kind of think that they are kind of starting to kind of get irritated with each other. I am number one shocked they have not had a kid yet because I don't know... It just, it seems like after they were gonna get married, I thought like immediately they would start popping out kids, but that does not seem to be the case. But Ethan and Olivia, they were kind of fighting and Ethan admitted it again. He goes, we definitely do have some issues. And, and honestly, I hate to say it, but it all kind of goes back to his parents because Ethan was saying, I have no idea how to deal with, you know, when someone is stressed out or when someone's tired, I don't know how to deal with that. So I like, I get it. And honestly, I'm the same way as him. He was like, I don't even know what to do. Like if she's stressed out, I don't know what to say. I don't know what to do. I was kind of agreeing, like, I don't even know myself. So I get where he's coming from. He probably got married a hair too young because he's like my age too, which yeah, a hair too young, but he's married. He's trying to kind of work through it. He made some stupid comments on how he doesn't have a you know training manual or, or an instruction manual with Olivia. It was stupid, whatever, but he's just trying to kind of learn his way around her. And believe it or not, we are not done. Now we have another younger sister. I want to say her name is Lydia. I believe it, I'm confident it's Lydia. She is 16 years old and she is very sheltered, very in on this whole culture thing that this family is doing. She's totally for it. She loves the religion. She's totally cool with it. But in this episode, she did go over to Mariah and Micah's house. Mariah made her this big old grand dinner, which it actually looked, looked pretty good, but she made her a big old dinner. They caught up 
and Lydia did say that she's kind of crushing on her old man. Now, she would not give any specifics, but she did say that she met this man when she was like 12 or 13. Okay, well, she's 16 now, so she was talking about it like it was years and years and years, like it was like 25 years ago. Okay, it was like three or maybe even four years at most ago, so it wasn't even that long ago, but she was like, we've, you know, we were in so, we were such good touch, and we were really close, and we were really feeling each other, but we kind of had some distance, and this, that, and the other, and we went our separate ways, but Mariah claims that this man has still been texting her to get Lydia to hit him up. I don't know why he wouldn't just reach out to her. Maybe she doesn't have a cell phone. I don't really know. But yeah, it's just a weird string of events. But long story short, the younger sister, who is still very sheltered, kind of has like, so not, not just to just not have a boyfriend, but she kind of has a man that she has her eyes on. So it will be interesting to see if she ever actually tries to make a move. Clearly, she's only 16, and it's like, even me, when I was 16, years and years and years ago, I was not sheltered one bit, but my dating life was a mess when I was 16, so it's like, I don't expect her dating life to be much better at all, to be honest. I mean, it's like, she's only 16, she's young, and she's incredibly sheltered. So. We're gonna have to wait and see what goes down with that, but I am super excited to see if he, this new man ever does come on the show. And that was about it for Welcome to Plathville. Pretty solid episode. The thing that got me was just the, the Mariah going on a date with a guy named Max, who was a complete tool, and of course, his name was Max. So yeah, I thought it was kind of hilarious. But before I sign off for the day, before Welcome to Plathville was on last night, we actually did get to see my big, fat, fabulous life, with Whitney, and I'm kind of curious if you guys watched it. I could recap it, I could talk about it if you guys want. I did really try to watch it, and that was just like freaking watching paint dry. It's not very entertaining. There seems to be kind of a lot of artificial drama. Basically, what happened was Whitney and her buddy, Buddy, um, got into a big fight at the last episode, and in this episode, they kind of made up. They tried to kind of talk out their differences. Buddy just said he has kind of some temper, anger, stuff he has to work out. Nah, it wasn't too terribly exciting. I am honestly just watching bits and pieces of this season because I want to see what happens and what actually goes down when Chase comes out that he did cheat. We all know he cheated. We all know he got the girl pregnant and he, she actually already had the baby. I don't think he's engaged the woman, but he did have the baby. And so it's like, we all know what happened. It's public. My just question is, does he reach out to her? Does she catch him in the act? Like, I'm kind of curious what actually happens, how he gets caught. That's literally the only reason why I'm still watching this season. And I think we're starting to kind of get close on when it actually comes out, I think. Because it's like, I don't, I just don't care what happens with Whitney and Chase before he cheated. Because it's like, it doesn't really interest me, but when all the cheating comes out, then I'll be kind of intrigued. And I know I probably sound like a rotten, horrible person, but it is just the truth. And really, really, really quick before I do sign off for this amazing day, um, the Real Housewives of Orange County and Salt Lake City were just on a few minutes ago, and surprisingly, I watched all two hours of both the shows, and it was, like, honestly kind of good. So, I'm curious if I should talk about this. Do you guys watch any of the Housewives shows? Because I did a video on the Real Housewives of Salt Lake City last week, and no one seemed to give a crap. So if no one cares, I won't. I don't, you know, if you guys don't want to hear about it, I can talk about something else. Put in the comments below if you guys ever do watch it, if you would watch it. If you are available on a Wednesday night, it's not that bad of a show. And to tell you guys the truth, literally nothing else is on. So it's like, what else are you going to watch if you do want to watch some TV? Because remember, Married at First Sight, my original OG, one of my favorite shows, it is sadly not on. So yeah, we have a free Wednesday night and the housewives might not be a bad option. Well, sorry to rant, sorry to keep going on. I just had a couple quick questions. But anyway, you guys, thank you all so much for watching. Y'all better make sure to hit that comment button or hit the comment button. Oh my God, I am losing it. Hit the like button, comment below your thoughts, and then hit the subscribe button. I don't know what comment button you guys are gonna hit. You have to type in the comments. So sorry, I am clearly losing my mind. I need to shave my face. And if you can't tell, I got a big old zit right there. So yeah, I am just, yeah, I am just falling apart. But anyway, you guys, I love you all dearly. I wanted to make this video really quick on the Platteville show because 
I don't know if a lot of you guys do watch it, but I actually do kind of watch this show and actually do enjoy it, so I figured, why not? Well, sorry for all these rants. Sorry, I keep going on and on and on. But anyway, you guys, thank you all so much for watching. Stay tuned for many more videos.